Welcome back to Animals. Today we're going to make some meatloaf. Let's get it. Alright Towners, start off this recipe here. Uh, we're going to start off by chopping up and prepping all of our veggies for our meatloaf. Uh, we took a large yellow onion and chopped that up. Uh, we're going to add all of our veggies into this stock pot that we have just to help mix everything. We then took out some mini sweet peppers and chopped those up. Uh, the mini sweet peppers normally come in like a red, yellow, orange, a variety of colors, but for some reason this bag only came in red. Uh, <laughs> but hey, we use what we got. Uh, we then chopped up some celery hearts. Um, you could use whole celery if you have that. We only had celery hearts, so we didn't use that. We're using what we got here. Took out a couple of cloves of garlic, smashed those down to help easily chop those up, and added those to the pot as well. Now, these are all of the veggies that we added in and, and chopped up for our meatloaf. Uh, we put this to a large stock pot just to help mix everything. Uh, we then added in uh, our ground beef. Uh, this was some 80-20 uh, ground beef. And uh, we went ahead and seasoned that up with some kosher salt, some black pepper. Uh, this is a mixture of equal parts of onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, and paprika. And then we also added in some Italian seasoning. We went ahead and mixed everything up. Um, I was trying to figure out why the onions and peppers and everything wouldn't mix in and bind in with the meat, but then I realized that I didn't add any, any binders in yet. So went ahead and cracked in. Um, a couple of eggs to that. We put in three eggs and we added in some almond flour. And then we also added in some sugar free ketchup as well as some sriracha. And after we added all these ingredients in, it started to mix everything together. Then everything started to combine and the veggies started to mix in and incorporate with the meat. Um, after we got everything mixed in together, uh, we went in and got out our loaf pans. Uh, we have two loaf pans here uh, one metal one and one silicone one. Uh, we went ahead and just packed this in as much as we could with our ground beef. Uh, the silicone mat kind of lost its shape a bit when you try to smash it down. So when you do so, when you've got everything in there, just kind of squeeze the sides together and that will help it to get its shape back. Uh, once uh, you have everything put in, uh, we've added and started to make our topping for the meatloaf. Uh, we put in some yellow mustard, some additional sugar-free ketchup, sriracha, and a pinch of uh, sugar substitute. Mixed all that together and then uh, basically just pour that over top of our meatloafs. Took out our basting brush and just basically painted the topping on uh, sugar, ketchup topping on top of it. Uh, you can put a little design on it if you want to. Um, I started to try to make the town too <laughs> on top of it, but the, I just stopped doing it. Uh, but I could've. <laughs> uh, but this is how it looked after we uh, popped it in the oven. We cooked it at 350 degrees uh, it, took, it took about an hour, hour, 15 minutes to cook this. We had our internal probe thermometer in there and um, took it out once it hit 160 degrees. Uh, after we took it out, we let it rest. Uh, it was a lot of liquid um, in there from the um, meatloaf. We just basically drained some of that out after it cooled off. And uh, this was uh, how our meatloaf looked after it cooled off. I went ahead and sliced it up. Um, make sure you let it cool off because if you try to slice it while it's hot, it will basically just fall apart, break apart on you. So just make sure it is cooled down a bit. Uh, we cut this up into about half inch slices and um, we were able to get about nine to 10 slices out of each meatloaf, depending on how thick you want it um, or how, how, you know, how big of slices that you're gonna cut up for that. But this came out, this meatloaf came out very nice. It was a uh, nice, it had a little bit of spice to it from the sriracha, but nothing overpowering or anything. And it had a lot of flavor uh, from all of the veggies and the uh, sauce that we had to it. Um, hope you guys like this keto meatloaf recipe um, using the almond flour. You don't taste that almond flour taste in it at all. And but all the flavors cooperate well. If you have, have any comments or questions, please feel free to hit us up on Cooking with the Town 2 on YouTube. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy and please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.